youngsters are online. Statistics show that around 96% of young people in the European Union use the internet on average at least once a week. They are all highly capable of using any kind of social media or service and are quick at learning and adapting to new technologies. We, as youth workers, must keep up. Keep track of your social networks. Internet versus reality. Typically, communication is an exchange of information. In this case, the online form wins. It allows attaching multimedia files and the message becomes quite reasonable. Fast communication is the key. However, in communicating online, it is easy to miss an angry look of the recipient. Online communication does not strengthen strongly relationships like love or friendship. However, it intensifies the weaker bonds, such as subscribers and followers. People often get acquainted online, join online communities and participate in different promotions. Tips and tricks when communicating face-to-face -face by written media or online. Show appreciation. Prior to getting into the concept of your conversation, be sure to express your thanks for the other individual's time. Connect. Connect on a personal level if possible. Look for places where interests overlap if any exist. There may be some personal interests in common, such as hobbies, sports, children and so on. Stay positive. Maintaining a positive attitude is crucial to productive communications. Be constructive, rather than negative or complaining. Watch your tone. While it's sometimes necessary to be assertive in order to make your point, don't be aggressive. There is a fine line between the two. Try not to cross it. Focus on the result. It's important to figure out what result you are after before you start the communication. Knowing your objective helps you to direct the conversation and to remain on point. Request and give feedback. Confirm that you have a mutual understanding of what's being communicated. Follow up. Be clear about what actions will be taken and establish accountability. Confirm deadlines, responsibility and expectations. Vocabulary. The speech clearly and effectively expresses ideas. It is commonly suggested to always use precise language and consistent use of syntax and discourse appropriate to the audience and purpose. However, in non-formal environments it is often not this way and the audience loves it. When assessing your group, be sure to decide also if the youngers are going to react better if you use precise language or maybe incorporate slang in your sessions. Mix online and offline environment. Online social networking tools can be used to complement existing youth work activities, escort tools for youth workers and to explore new models of youth work. Online social networking tools present a range of opportunities to promote youth services to young people. You can use online environment to inform new potential users about your services. You can use it to reach youngsters. You can use it to inform, to remind about assignment or responsibility. Tips for better face-to-face -face communication. Listen. Eye contact is crucial. Be polite and don't interrupt. No one likes being interrupted. And though it's natural to want to rush in to make your point, it's very disrespectful of the other person's thoughts. Notice non-verbal cues. Watch body language. Lack of eye contact, distraction or fidgeting are often signs of restlessness or impatience. Yawning or sighing are usually signs of mental or physical fatigue. Calibrating your tone and energy level sets the stage for an evenly matched conversation and puts your subject at ease while mirroring the body language of the person you're speaking with is a nearly subliminal cue to show that you're fully present in the conversation. Just keep it subtle. Tips for better online communication. Use all the possibilities that are there. There is so much free software, applications and plugins that can help you to be more efficient and to communicate faster and straight to the point. 
open an account for professional purposes. Don't use your personal account. So you can have it open during your working hours. Use the nature of the media to get more reach. Depending on the channel you choose for communication, don't forget whatever media that can identify the reach of your announcement. Smileys, emoticons, emojis. When posting a social media post, emoticons and symbols can attract more attention than just plain text, but be sure to get creative while doing this. Researchers found that emoticons, when used in conjunction with a written message, can help to increase the intensity of its intended meaning. Timing is crucial. There are a number of surveys and statistics on when to post on different social networks. It is a normal thing that at some point of the day people use social networks more.